Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Planet Zoo and Creative Grasslands. I hope you're all doing well. Let me know what you're doing, how you are uh, in the comments down below. I do like to know how you guys are all doing. So, we have been given a Planet Zoo update, which is, I think, coming to us on the 12th of April, which is all really exciting. We, um, so we're with our educator here. But the reason why we're doing that is because we are soon going to have roaming educators. So what these um, lovely staff members will end up doing is instead of just being there for the education points and talking to the guests and then just kind of wandering around or back to the, um, let's come out of here, or back to the staff room, what will actually happen is they will wander around and be talking to the guests as and when they kind of pass through. So like real life, you might see keepers or you might see general habitat um, maintenance people kind of walking through the zoos and they'll stop and talk to you and give you kind of one-on-one -on -one kind of information about the animals within the zoo or the animals that they look after. So that's gonna be really good. And really interesting um gives the kind of the entertainer something else to kind of do so i'm really excited for that one and what also is going to happen is we're getting an update or within the update i should say of a camera view of a guest so we'll be at this height and we can walk around as a guest and um we'll be able to walk around our zoo and actually look like a guest kind of thing we can have a little look at the animals as well and that would be really really good to be able to see our zoo from a guest kind of point of view which would be which would be great um i know we can do it from here but it'll be really good if we could have a camera i don't know whether or not there there'd be kind of anything else kind of within it like i don't know whether or not we could take any pictures or whether we can control the the guests can review by I don't know the, on the keyboard or something like that to walk around the zoo I'm not sure um, but yeah that would be really good so we also have audio and visual management as well which is which is really good so with at the moment if we wanted to say update this we would have to go on and click it and change it there if we wanted to change the music wherever that music is coming from in here uh, oh, I just popped someone's balloon. Sorry about that. So, in here, can you remember in the first couple of episodes, we put a speaker in there. So eventually, what we would, well, what we would have to do at the moment is go in, find each of the speakers, and manually, individually as well, change the music, change the volume, or something like that. Whereas now, Frontier, who are the game developers, are giving us a audio and visual management window which i'm assuming is going to kind of pop along here somewhere um so maybe we could have something up here that says audio and visual we could click on it we could change the habitat uh boards for example so we wouldn't have to go in and click on each one we could change the level of the music new water and exhibit so what we can do is we can click on this and we can change the color so you know um when we're doing our habitats we most of the time we have the watercolor azure uh, because it's just that kind of the aqua kind of color and it just looks looks lovely um, we might be able to change the water in here to match or to something completely different when we get some of these little guys um, we will be able to have the water bubble and mist which would be great so we'll get some more effects for that because uh, these little guys love um, being in hot water because they live in the cold so they love being in hot water and they actually live in places where there's hot springs so that'll be really great to be able to build a habitat um, and they can sit in the bat, uh, sit in the hot, hot springs and stuff, which would be great. And that will, will reduce stress for them. So that, again, is fantastic. We've got some really, really, really cool updates coming up um, on the 12th of April. And I think there could also be some sort of DLC um, happening as well. Um, I'm not entirely sure what it's going to be yet but comment please comment down below what it is that you think the next dlc could be i know a lot of people in the in the um planet zoo community are wondering 
a Avery kind of pack where we get some birds so that could be really interesting um, but let me know in the comments down below what you um, are thinking and what you might like oh we're getting a bit, a bit busy over here I would really like to put in some food court here so let's do that um, I don't know whether we're going to use these ones these coverings here because they are quite big we might have to design something a little bit different or maybe let's do that actually maybe we could have some little food trucks over here maybe like all kind of all in the middle we think little food trucks kind of one here one on the corner maybe one there or something and then we put some seating in the middle or do we have seating over here? I wonder if we did say that, it will be a circle. And then we come in here and we get our little vans. One there, one there, say one there. That would be three. Do we do this? We're, we are limited to our little counters. So we can put in a coffee. So we can do that. Let's just pause a second before the whole zoo decides to, ah, what's happened? I do quite like that actually. And then we'll have like little bits, like a big circle in the middle and then we'll have the food court in the, in the middle all around I, I i know that sentence just not make sense but trying to talk and think at the same time it's clearly very a big struggle sound like that let's bring that out a little bit okay so i've tried it's, it's not the best Okay, so don't judge but it's something um so the guests can come in here and they can go as and where they want uh food wise now obviously we we can't fit any chairs in here and i'm going to make it look a little bit nicer we can't fit any chairs in here anyway so what i was thinking is do we have kind of like a seating area kind of over here also i need to move these over because the game is shouting at us that they are too far away. Yeah, so that's probably a little bit nicer. I'm gonna have it over here and we're gonna put our path right up, really big. And we are going to come over here. like that but let's get our tables now we had our tables over here didn't we so we want to get it to match so we have this one yes yeah, so we can fit quite a lot of tables in here actually couldn't they So I have just gone in and just done a little bit of detailing, nothing too mad. Um, I'll just I'll probably come back to it at a later date when we do another um zoo decorating. The guests will come in here. Where are they here? So the guests can come in here. It's all shaded as well. Um, give or take this a little bit. Um, so that'll be good to get them out of the sun. But they can come in here and they can grab their food and their drinks. I'm gonna put another little passageway over here actually. Um, and then they can make their way 
over to our picnic area um so they can come through here there's lots and lots of spaces yeah so hopefully there's going to be loads of space for them we've got some bins and it's all kind of shaded along with their shades there and their trees so yeah so that's filled that area up a little bit um again if you have any kind of suggestions on anything else that we can do do we do we like this area should we change it let me know we also do need to find out what we want to put in this area and we also need to put in some exhibits so we have quite a lot to do in our next few episodes um but this was just a quick short one just to fill in some gaps that we had um in our zoo areas but if you like this video please give it a thumbs up it would be greatly appreciated subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already it's free it doesn't cost anything and um, hopefully you can be a part of the community that we are trying to build here. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.